Hi, I'm Joe McDonald and this is Big Max Battle Blog. So, just a general little video uh, to update people and um, let you know I've been doing it. I haven't updated in, like, I haven't posted in like a week or something. Um, minor problem my end, I've had an ear infection for like the last three weeks, so that's made everything I've been doing that little bit more difficult. Uh, kind of like being a little bit drunk all the time, but without any of the fun. Um, so yeah, uh, last few days I've been training. Uh, so actually, yeah, feeling feeling relatively confident on my drone flying abilities now. And tomorrow I'm off uh, towards West Ukraine to do a week's training on the same matter on flying drones. So yeah, that's all good stuff. Uh, other week we did some infantry training, uh, which was great. Uh, one of the got the the Ukrainian instructor had actually been to England, um, and was trained by the rifles. So, if any of the guys who were training him uh, are watching this, Taras says hello. Um, so yeah, that was good. Um, and but then unfortunately, all these uh, new Russian reinforcements turned up across the river so we had to cut it short so we didn't get to do the shooting at the end of it that we wanted to so a little bit disappointing um situation in Kherson other than the new Russian reinforcements uh, who aren't very good at their jobs uh is about the same um you know we we're getting shelled every day some days it's really heavy some days it isn't. Uh, I think my burst eardrum is actually, or my, my problem with my ear is actually down to a shell that exploded really close to my uh, flat a couple of weeks ago. Um, but, you know, could just be, could just be a bit of dust has got down there and it's got infected. I don't actually know. Uh, so, yeah. Um, and that's, that's, that's about it. I've uh, finally received a parcel from an English volunteer who I won't name. So now I've got uh, all the controls and bits and antennas I need to fly FPVs, which is great. It saved me quite a bit of money out my wages and your guys' donations. So that can all go towards the thermal drone fund. Um, on that... Yeah, not many of you may be aware, but we uh, China basically puts not sanctions, but import restrictions on drones coming into Europe um, about, about a month and a half ago, two months ago. And that has um, really slowed down the flow of drones. Um, I know a guy who was trying to bring in a load uh, to give to a Ukrainian guy who will like then sell them to the units from from inside Ukraine, and the good old uh, Ukrainian border guard turned it back the other day. So thanks, Ukrainian border guard. It's good to know that you've got your priorities in the right place. Um, so yeah, but I'm sure they'll get through eventually, and. At the moment, the fund uh, plus my wages runs that we can just buy one more thermal drone outright. So hopefully by the time we turn up, we'll be closer to two and maybe they'll extend me a little bit of credit and then we can get two. And then that means we've got a whole other squad equipped, um, which, which is a lot better. So, yeah, um, once again, I haven't said this in a while, but anyone watching this, if you could please, you know, like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the little button, give it a share, try and get your mates to do everything I've just asked because the, the channel is still small and you guys who are watching at this time are, are a pretty dedicated bunch um, you know, I've had a lot of, a lot of support and I, I wanted to say that the last video I did, the sound was terrible, but, um, I just wanted to say a thank you to each and every one of you who's been helping, uh, even if it's just like, comment, subscribe, press the ball, give it a share, you're helping the channel and you're helping the war effort to the people who've given me $50 or a hundred dollars or in a couple of cases, um, like plus five hundred dollars that's absolutely amazing but to the people who are just able to give a fiver 
or a tenner every week or every month, that matters just as much. Like I know exactly what it's like to be poor. I have not been a rich person for most of my life. I'm not a rich person now. But the fact that you're taking the time to, you know, transfer me five or ten bucks, it adds up you know, and then eventually we'll be able to have enough thermal drones to to get us through these next couple of critical months. Um, as for whether we're going across the river or whether we're going to winter here, that's between gods and generals at the moment. Personally, I want to be on the other side and pushing on to Melitopol and cutting off Crimea and ending this war. But, you know... I'm not the general and I don't know everything that's going on. So, yeah. Anyway, thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. And uh, it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from Big Mac's Battle Blogs. And once again, to our Russian and Vatnik listeners, Idina Hoyser Looper. <laughs>